few weeks out. It was, but... it was actually perfect though because I went to Bali that week. Oh, I was really? like, I hope they don't say, can we do it this yeah. week? Because I can't <laughs> at all. Well, it was kind of good because um, Tommy, uh, one of our staff, he lives over in like, where's he from? Like, He's um, over in on the lock. Yeah, area, yeah, like yeah. Over oh. in Faggy. Yeah, so lock, he drives yeah. to work every day, like two hours there and back. He can just like move, can't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's, right. he's like he's managed to like finesse a bit of a deal with his aunt who lives in Frankston, like a yeah. night or two a week or something. Apparently, Not before true. then, he like barely even talked to her. I'm like, oh, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's there all week this week. So I was like, all right, we're going to do it this week. If yeah. you boys are going to be involved, and then mm. it turned out and it didn't happen. Someone <laughs> didn't get enough microphones. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. oh. No, you're fine. Oh, no, I was <laughs> upset. No. Uh, well, you make it sound like it is. Okay. So <laughs> if we had a full room, that would be. <laughs> would have been. It also would have been so many voices. There would have been yeah. a lot yeah. of talking, yeah, but it yeah, would have been true. hilarious. Anything would have been, it would have been, would have yeah, it would have been, been wild. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, well. all right. Hang on. Let's... Do you want to get started? I stalked one of your Instagrams. I forgot what it was, but there were long neck VBs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that from, was from that when we did um, fuck, that would have been years ago, I reckon. Well, we yeah, had, it was like 2013. I yeah, reckon. that would have been. Uh, it was would have been my RG, I think it would have been just after. I think we've been surfing. We had like long net VBs. Oh, oh we've been yeah, that, right. Um, Gangsters Paradise show. Oh yeah, geez, that's going way oh, back. Can we just? You went surfing with your mate. That has a clothing label to a beach called Gangsters Paradise. <laughs> no, no, Holy no, 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 shit. no. <laughs> I could have written that. That's a script. <laughs> it was one of those two events. I don't know if they're which one it was. We did though. a solo show, like an art show together. Yeah, we did Gangsters an art Paradise. show called Gangsters Paradise. Fuck yeah. Oh, and that's all right. like nineties hip hop references. Oh, sick. Yeah, it yeah, was sick. It was, that, was, that was around that same time, mm. about ten years ago. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, we started here. Well, we started here. Yeah. Welcome, everyone listening. Uh, today we have who do we have, Kyle? We have two Joshes. We do. <laughs> they Joshing are, around. Yes, we've had a beer and we've had a chat, and they're Ripper blokes, and they are co founders. Um, I don't know what else you call it. Is that of right? the yeah. Snake yeah. Hole. Awesome label. They've forced us to wear this today. Yeah. It's <laughs> condition so, of entry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, well, then you have to have a beer. So <laughs> yeah, well. we met in the middle. And boys, welcome onto the podcast. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us, boys. Us. Yeah. This is a really incredible setup. You oh, look like you know what you're doing. We don't. Yeah, well, as long as we look it. <laughs> <laughs> Interior designers, maybe. Yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a job after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Come to our studio next. We need that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a studio. No, you got a warehouse. Uh, We've yeah, got yeah. A, a design studio. A design yeah. studio. Yeah, yeah no, inside um, the warehouse. Yeah. That definitely doesn't even look as good as this. Yeah, oh, it's not. Yeah. It's a warehouse. It's not good. Yeah. The, the yeah. shop's like the only thing that looks clean. Yeah, the shop looks all right. Everything. That's else. why I've got a curtain because like <laughs> everything behind it's just like everywhere. <laughs> Chaotic. Yeah. I can imagine like behind the curtain though. There's like this huge whiteboard. It's like snake hole in the middle, and then it's got like lines. It's like, like jumpers, a beautiful hoodies. mind, like out of a beautiful like, mind. Know. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. That'd be, oh. How did yeah. you come up with the name? Um, Everyone talks about the name. Yeah. The name, yeah. Um, well, the name was based on the gallery space that we ran before we started the label. Mm. And that kind of, so the, the gallery was called the snake hole. That stemmed from, that was originally my studio space. Right. And my, I got coined the nickname Brown Snake because my last name's Brown. And <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Spot on. Um, and apparently had no shoulders. So, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I, I don't know. I, I've beefed out a bit down here, but not up the top. So, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. So that that was kind of where it stemmed from, Brown Snake, to then the studio being the snake hole, and then we started yeah. running art shows, yeah. and then. Did some merch for the art shows for the gallery, mm. and then that turned into a clothing label. So. There you go. How long ago was that? Oh, do you, you're better at dates than I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would have been the inception of the gallery would have been like ten years ago, <sighs> right? And then the while. start of the label, like we ran as a gallery primarily and had events out of there. Like we would just have like um, skate premieres and movie premieres, like surf movie premieres and stuff like that. And that operated like that for like a couple of years and we would throw in a couple of tees here and there just because people wanted, they're like, oh, you guys need to have 
merch like make gallery merch mm. so we did that even though we already like had a bit of, like an interest in like fashion and design and stuff but primarily we were operating as like a space where like young crew could come and hang out and like exhibit things or uh have shows because at that time there was nothing on the peninsula for like anyone who was like below the age of like 65 basically yeah <laughs> uh, oil paintings yeah if you oh, like yeah. Oil actually paintings you're right and, yeah. and like you know canvases of fruit bowls then you were money but yeah. if you didn't like those things then you had nothing to do you'd have to go up you'd have to go make your way to like smith street or chapel street or something like that so the idea of for us was like we were sick of going all the way there and oh, we wanted to do our so own annoying. thing and have oh, shows yeah. and parties and stuff which we did we had and then Cheers for the invite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to 11. start it back up again. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah. yeah, I think we would have been in jail if we got you guys around there yeah. with alcohol problems. Yeah. There's <laughs> a few yeah. times like the cops rolled up and like we'd be running the bar and because we were giving alcohol away, we didn't have a have to have a liquor license. Uh, and the oh, cops would roll up and they're like, oh, let me see a liquor license. And we're like, we're not selling alcohol. So, and they'd be like, yeah, all right, yeah, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and then, the, and then we started taking it seriously, more seriously as a label, like when we basically kind of were like sick of moving the stuff out of the gallery all the time because we were working in there during the week and then turning it into an event space and stuff. That's right. Yeah, we were like literally packing up the whole studio. Yeah. It'd be like oh. packing all of this up. And I'd rather running. die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, you'd be it was very literally dead like then. every couple of weeks we were doing that. Yeah. Oh, it was hectic. So we were yeah. doing that really, really often and then we were like, fuck, just doing the clothes is probably a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then people were more interested in that by then anyway. So we were just doing that more often. That would, I, I like tend to think like the clothing properly started around like 2016 end of 2016 so about six years ago oh true yeah mm. in so it all today. yeah so six it all was years of it born 10 years ago yeah mm. but how did you two guys meet uh so. would have been the surf shop so we started which kind of links into the snake oil as well because we started working at peninsula surf um when we would have been like 15 or something yeah, like that yeah um Met at the surf shop, became good mates. And then, um, yeah, that kind of just led into um, working together and, and all that. So, But it was funny because the surf shop actually took our first order. Yeah, they did. They yeah. took our first order. And Where is this surf shop, by the way? Uh, Peninsula just, Surf. It's on, oh, on the It used to be, be, used to be PSC. Yeah. Now it's like turned into Rip Curl. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So the big main one everyone yeah, went to when they exactly. were. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. where yeah. we It met. used to be PSC Surf and Skate. So like it was... Um, surf and Skate. Yeah, yeah. It was like a surf skate shop, which was like essentially like Trigger Brothers before like they all got bought out by these big guys. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was sick. But we that, were, like when we when we started when we did our first production run for the snake hole, we called up Peninsula Surf and the 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 buyer Sarah uh, was a mate of ours, and she's like, we'd been designing a lot of their clothing for them, yeah, and it had been going true. pretty well. And we called them up and we're like, do you guys would you guys take on some snake hole stuff? We did some snake hole clothing, and she was like, yeah yeah, we'll take it on. And I was like. Do you mind paying up front for it? <laughs> oh, and, okay. And she's like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we could do that. And so they 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 put and in like we a pretty Bali, solid we order. Never came too. Back. <laughs> 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 PC on around anymore. Uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was like how we did our first production run was with PSC. So yeah. Mm, that's unreal. So yeah, they they were definitely yeah the start start for us. But yeah, that's how yeah. and that's how yeah, so that's, that's how, how we, we met. met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. We yeah. met there and um worked together there for years when they would actually let us work together. What do you mean? Oh, uh, we weren't very productive. We <laughs> oh, yeah, they found that out yeah. very quickly. Yeah, understood. Yeah, so um, yeah, and then we, I pretty much just like, he's exactly one year older than me to the day. Like mm. he's December ten, I'm December ten, but he's one year older. December nine. You're December no 9th. Way. It's all happening. No He's way. December 11. <laughs> Holy no shit. Way. December 8. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I was going to say, mate. It's probably something Come boring on. like May 1st or something. Yeah. Oh, no I thought you were going to guess it. it. Feb 22nd. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, I was lost my train. I thought we were talking. Yeah, so uh, he was a year older than me and I basically just like followed his career path for the first like five years. Like, I, Just one was, year behind. Yeah. So <laughs> he went through... Uh, 
did like a TAFE course in design. I went through and did the exact same course. Mm. And then um, he started a like he we both did some other jobs after um, school, but we ended up working at do you guys know Barlin, the surf company? Yeah. So he started working there and he was doing all their design, like their um like the deck grips and the clothing line oh, and true. all the um, board covers and stuff like that, which was an amazing thing for us at the time. Mm. We didn't, like you look at back at it now and you realize what an opportunity that was to mm. be working like in direct contact with manufacturers, designing range, designing catalogs, photographing it, photographing the products themselves that got used to on sale to the shops as well as shooting the like quote unquote campaign for them. Right. Um, yeah. So you ran this business effectively. <laughs> From the design point Jesus of view. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were only designers there. So. We were only designers there, but essentially we were like, like product development, marketing, product photography, um, campaign photography. Like we were anything visual with the company as well as the back end management of production. Mm. And we were like 21 years mm. old or 22 years old. We kind of we just, there was now. no one else to do the jobs. And like we wanted certain things there as well as like young guys who were interested in clothing. Like we just, there were certain things that we would wanted in there, whether it was like, uh, designs for deck grips and stuff where the guy would be like, you know, we don't make those. You're going to have to figure out how to get them done, like how to figure out, make get the molds made and stuff like that. So, so we were just- was saying that to a 21 year old. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's like, yeah. And he, <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing, he, would, he was down for everything he was, though. Yeah, he was really Everything good. that we yeah. wanted to do, yes, we'd be like, yeah, oh, right. we want to get good. jackets made. And he goes, yeah, give it a shot. And then mm. like we were, and he gave us a lot of lead and almost never pushed back on anything we designed. Mm. So That's awesome. we were just in there, um, like we learned, uh, I was there for about three years and you might have been there for around the same time yeah, maybe. probably similar with a bit of crossover. And that was a huge leg up, I feel like, in just understanding like how to get things done and the mm. necessarily like the core the course things have to take in terms of like uh, just the setting up spec sheets, dealing with like the factories, dealing with lead times, dealing with freight and things like that. So that was awesome, mm. that experience. But yeah, Josh was there and then I followed him there as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, so we've done we've done quite a bit together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you get sick of each other? Nah, I haven't really yet somehow. <laughs> Not yet. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I mean, on paper, you'd think so, but yeah. somehow it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Me and Kyle get to see each other more than an oh. hour together. Yeah. <laughs> I hate him. Oh. Yeah, I, could feel, I could feel tension in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's that all in the editing. There. Once we've done oh. the pod and there's editing to be done. This is all great. Oh. Yeah. This is great. We love this. Yes. Once it's over and How you long? guys leave, How long nightmares. does it take to edit? Uh, hours yeah, really? five hours yeah, yeah. we're slow we're terrible we go for yeah but we'll we'll run for hmm. two hours maybe if we need to yeah yeah but then we'll chop it down and we'll cut to segments yeah, and then right. stories and we'll cut out stuff we don't like yeah so we've got like five minutes so far Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing you got that much to be honest with you. That's like pretty impressive. Open we'll be, close. We'll be done in about eight hours then. Yeah. That's not too bad. <laughs> oh, no. This one will be, you've, that was actually really good because we just went through about six of my questions without asking a single question. Six <laughs> questions. You are perfect. prepared today. All right. <laughs> this is the most prepared I've been almost ever. Really? <laughs> I know, which isn't good. Because I'm not that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> might have another beer, Kyle, if you don't oh, mind yeah. reaching oh, over yeah, to I'll the I'll have another fridge. one too if you guys are well, grabbing If you guys them. are having one, I'll have one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to call my <laughs> wife to come pick me up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm meeting someone for a beer after this and then have to go to a family thing. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> busy Fridays. Yeah, yeah. social. Here Very we go. Busy social butterflies. Mm. Oh. I always leave a little bit in my beer. Oh, I Unintentionally and Kyle Wait, has how, like, oh. When you say a little bit, how much is a little bit though? Like what, like five mils? Just a sip. Probably a sip oh, yeah, like I half I a sip. The same. Really? Yeah. Why? I think it's, it's all impossible warm and shit. to get it. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it should be all dodgy. Like the bottom's dodgy. How? Like I don't know. It's not a Cooper's, so there's no like sediment at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, but it feels like it's also maybe like some back like backwash or yeah, something like that. Completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's like You have no science to back this up. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not claims at, at this point. <laughs> Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. No one yeah, enjoys I, I it. I find it kind of like it's warm and like you just think it's backwashy. You put me off now. I do you drink the whole yeah. thing to the last sip? Yeah. Do you drink the whole thing to the last sip? Yeah. Probably wasted a lot of, we probably wasted yes. a lot of beers over the years though. Like if you would put them all into like pour them all out. 
All right, yeah. so how many beers, how many beers, how many mil would it be? 375 375 yeah, right? If you leave 5 mil per beer five, I reckon it's probably more than that I'd, be jo- I'd, I'd say it's me. probably more closer to 10 To be honest with you If I'm being dead on it <laughs> So I reckon if you <laughs> had a great chat. If you had a 6 pack And you left 5 mil How many? How much of a beer would you have left? That's 25 mil So you're, like, you're pretty much wasting Good What's that six. like About 5% of a 5% of beer every time Isn't that 5% too much? Would you say? Yeah Probably I is actually yeah. 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 I mean, What are we talking about here though? <laughs> I don't know. Five mil of a beer club. <laughs> <laughs> we can get by with five, five mil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. we can get by. So, you guys have your own setup down in Mornington, Mornington Warehouse, mm-hmm. and I was I was just doing some brainstorming for you guys, marketing <laughs> techniques and whatnot. Oh, oh shit, oh, Professor oh, Kyle. No, no, not really. <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, have you ever thought? Do you think? Because you have like a very unique community. With the Mornington Peninsula and your brand, mm-hmm. which is very cool, but then you think about how you how you can expand even more, and you see like some other brands where they go through like Fast Times or mm-hmm. all these kind of outlets to do that. Do you try and would you want to do something like that with your brand, or would you rather be like more of a I don't know more unique yourself? You have more control over everything, kind of way. If that yeah. makes any sense. Like well, let's we're we are kind of making moves. Um, in, more into the wholesale side of the business and um, we actually were in Fast Times for a little while. Yeah. Oh, and, um, oh yeah, yeah. And that was kind of back when we weren't really like too serious about the brand and like it, things have changed a lot now. But um, where... We weren't organised enough yeah. to stay in Fast Times. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically what I he's trying we- to say. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get look books out on time yeah. and we probably didn't get stocked to them on time. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah it, was it was not the best. It wasn't. We weren't running the business as well as we could have. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, 100%. Like that's half the reason why we've got Maddie on to to run all the wholesale side of things and um, and try and extend our reach a little bit. I feel like we're really kind of... Um, starting to hit all the areas of Australia. Like we've got a pretty good customer base up the East Coast, um, WA, a mm-hmm. little bit in South Australia. And then we're yeah. starting to see some customers coming from New Zealand as well. Oh, true. Oh, true. Um, which How is cool. that? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, international. Yeah. So, we used to be like, I remember we'd check like our site traffic and it'd be like, 95 percent victoria like the five percent would be spread amongst the other states or whatever now you look at it and it's like it's victoria's still edging out all the other states but it's very like up the especially up the east coast like um vico new south wales queensland it's really even mm. the coverage as well as like the orders that go through so That's i feel That's like cool. we're starting to like Definitely the East Coast, and mm. we're starting to send a bit more stuff to like WA, and and because WA have a pretty fresh like yeah uh, streetwear scene, like yeah, they've pretty, got like 100%. like lo-fi um, over there, and you know obviously like like Street X are over there and stuff as well. They are they in WA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like Fremantle. yeah, so um, we're starting to break in a little bit over there. But like as Josh was saying too, like cranking into. Um, New Zealand will be like something that we kind of want to do as well because it's essentially like an extension of Australia. It's probably the the, the second easiest. Yeah, yeah. It's the other yeah, state. yeah, yeah. It really is. And yeah. It's like it's not doesn't cost us that much to ship there either. Like, yeah, true. You get an order from the states and it's like sweet sixty five dollar tea. It's going to cost you sixty five bucks to <laughs> <Yeah>. get it, <there. laughs> <laughs> and we're charging them nothing to sweet. to ship it out. But um, yeah. it's kind of what you got to do when you're a small label. You just got to like kind of cop some of that shipping on the chin and just mm. get Go get your exposure. garments out there and try and get the exposure. Yeah. So what do you think was the thing that helped change more of an even spread across the states? Oh, I don't think it was any one thing. Just I time? think it was just time. <laughs> like, yeah. Time. yeah. Yeah. And being like, consistent. Like yeah. we've been we have been really consistent for years. Yeah. Um like once we started actually taking it like once we got a bank account, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. first four years when we had the gallery and stuff, we were proud. just like, we just didn't even have a bank account or anything. Yeah. As soon as we got a bank account, we actually bought, paid for someone to build us a website and stuff. Yeah. We're like, let's oh. take it seriously now. Yeah, um, We were, from that day, like we pretty much like had new content all the time, new drops all the time. And we just like, we treated it like it was a like proper business from that moment. And I think that that, it wasn't like, any one thing it's not like you know 
one influencer or an appearance somewhere or something got us like um, to an, a certain level. There, I wouldn't say there would even be any like two month period where I felt mm. like we got a shitload of momentum. Mm. I think it's just been a slow, just long grinding. grind. <laughs> <laughs> it's grinding That's like. the honest way to do it though. Yeah. 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 But it's the most like doing it that way though, like it's also probably the least disappointing way yeah. because yeah. – if something blows up really quickly and then you can't catch that spark again, I could mm. imagine that being disheartening. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like if we had blown up quick, we would have struggled to mm. really step up to like <laughs> actually run the business in an efficient way to actually keep up with that growth. Yeah, well, yeah. we got one order from Fast Times basically and it was like <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even fulfill it. So. <laughs> <laughs> what was like... When you were really starting off, what was like that big, like huge day or like a huge moment where you were super stoked? Like you got, oh. I don't know, you sold, Noxy sold 50 hoodies yesterday or something. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. That's, still, right. that's still a that's solid awesome. day. Yeah. That's yeah. a solid day. I'm yeah. not happy though. Yeah. 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 I didn't. So I'm meant to be supporting my mate. <laughs> we literally shout him out all the time, yawn, whatever. Yeah. I couldn't get a hoodie and I was 15 minutes late. Hey, wow, half the time 15 I minutes off the drop. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? We've had drops like that where like we'd be wearing in the studio and we're like, be like, Brownie, sorry, man, you have to take that. Uh, take, take it, it off, off, man. <laughs> 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 you get out of his back. <laughs> We've oversold. It happened, it happened <laughs> today. It happened today. We oh, had, yeah, it actually happened today. Someone came in the shop today and bought a um, one of our knits and uh, <laughs> Meatballs comes in in the studio and he's like, oh, um, it's weird. I the, the, the website said there was no larges left, but there was one in the shop. And I was like, did you check the orders? They haven't gone out yet. And he's like, oh. So he's like sent out. He's just sold somebody's order. He's just ordered online. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh, no, let's go. Let's have a look, see if we've got anything else. And then I was like, oh, I've actually got a large at home that I haven't even worn yet. Oh. And, and the boys are just like. Oh, well, take one for the team, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Gotta I'm not getting that one. <laughs> yeah. I would oh. say for me, though, the one thing I can think of is like probably um, last year's uh, November sale. So we do a warehouse sale once a year. Mm. And um, uh, we t so the sale starts at 10 a.m. and we had people there at 6 a.m. starting to line up. Yeah. For the, to we tried to go like to that. camping chairs and stuff. Uh, well, they were just standing in the driveway. Everyone was standing in the driveway. But like by the time the doors opened, there was probably about 100 people in line. And Jeez. I was stretching out the car park. And yeah. I was that, I remember thinking, I'm like, fuck, this is something that we made from scratch. Yeah. And there's like people actually like really want to be here. It was cool, and yeah. That was like a, for uh, for me, that was like that like what you guys are talking about in terms of like feels like we've actually like made it, made it somewhere and we yeah. actually have a product that people really, really want mm -hmm. because like we've always believed uh, it's got a lot of potential and, um, you know, we worked really hard but to well, get like sick. actual yeah. recognition. <laughs> well, yeah. it is. <laughs> you can say it. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, to get that kind of like, like public recognition is um, – that was really – that was like a really humbling moment for sure for me personally. It really makes you realize like when, when you see like brands come out of nowhere yeah. and really behind the scenes they've been grinding for about eight, nine years to yeah, get there but all of a of sudden nowhere. they're just like – and um, it's like we still haven't hit that that point yet but like I feel like you have these little moments along the way where you're like, oh, hang on a second, like – this isn't just my mates like supporting us anymore. There's actually people here who want to buy the stuff oh, that don't yeah. know us. And 100%. Th that's a really humbling experience. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Or even just like seeing your, your T-shirt in the street yeah. uh, on someone you don't know just randomly. It's like, mm. well, like, that's still, you still get a kick out of it. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Like, you know, we've been doing it for so long, but like every time you see someone in a T-shirt or something, you're just like, oh, that's that's awesome. Like, I don't yeah. even know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had that yet. <laughs> no, wait for that moment. Which one of you is a Star Wars fan? Yeah, you I am. Yeah, yeah. despise Star Wars. I can't yeah, get it's past no it. good. I don't. Yeah, it's I just don't good. really. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of. I like uh, modern day stuff happening. I like like drug yeah. dealers and guns and shootouts <laughs> oh, and stuff. <laughs> Breaking Bad. Yeah, Matt's oh. seen Breaking Bad three times. Yeah, four. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just, I didn't don't rewatch competition. Did you, you watch no, um, <laughs> Better Call Saul as well? I've just finished the first season. I'm getting onto it now. Well, I just finished the first season as well mm. because I went back. Would I'd already watched season, it though? all. As I said before, I got a ter- terrible memory. Mm. I already watched it all and I went back and it said like season six just come out and I was like, yeah. sick. So I went back on Netflix and I'm like, all right, sweet. Just hit, you know, hit play. I'm like, let's go. And um, just started watching it. I didn't realize I started watching season one again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember you saying, you got to yourself, this is so sick. Yeah, I was loving it. Didn't remember a thing. And I'm like, I got to episode nine before I realized. Oh, and I was, no. The only reason I realized was because I went back on Netflix and I was like, why is this on season one? I was like, oh, you know, I was getting really annoyed because like, it didn't, it didn't start where I left off. You know, yeah, like yeah. Netflix always starts where I left off. I was like, this sucks. And I was like, uh, I'm like trying to find season six and it says season six premiering, uh, you know, May 26 or something. <laughs> and it was in April and I was like, have I been watching season one this whole time? <laughs> so I just watched it all the way through and I've only just got to season six now. Oh. <laughs> but it's epic. It's epic. There yeah. you go. Not so as good as season one. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You yeah. guys are definitely subtitles, guys. I am because i got kids. Okay. So oh, I have yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, sometimes <laughs> one wonder on... Maybe like I don't know, but like if I'm eating, you know how you're crunching on something, yeah. so you have to oh, like. Oh, yeah, no, I'm watching on my laptop or something, so I have to like. That's turn a great on. point. I've never, yeah. thought, I've of never that. thought about that. Yeah, First so world then. Problem, and then <laughs> yeah, I'm crunching and I can't eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> eating my uh, Uber Eats and the TV. But it doesn't bother me if it's on or off. Yeah, mm-hmm. understood. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I have enough. it on all the time, but I actually don't really like it because that's I just crazy. Stand there and I you just, read ahead. I, then, I don't stand in front of the TV, but I sit there. <laughs> yeah, and I, four um, couches. <laughs> I'm just standing in front of the TV, and, and I just I read it the whole time. And I don't end up watching any of it. I'm just yeah. reading. I might as well just read a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Read the book. Yeah. <laughs> the book's always oh. better, right? Yeah. I don't know. They say. Watch that's the movies. What they say. <laughs> I don't read books. Oh, I watch Harry that's... Potter and everyone always says the books are better. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna find nine books. Yeah, yeah. Don't play the movies fine, are pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah. I'm saving Harry Potter for when the kids get into it so I don't have to watch it <laughs> over again. Yeah. Oh, oh, just, a million yeah. times. Wait, so you haven't watched it at all. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen one. Strange. Wow. You're in for a great, like, good ten hours of your life. I can't wait. Because like, you know what kids are like? Like, they just no. watch the same thing mm. over and over again. Yeah, you probably wouldn't. No, I'm 22. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. And but, yeah, it's like, man, the amount of times I've watched Paw Patrol. Like, <laughs> I'm, I cannot wait for Harry Potter. <laughs> wait till you can show the training day. Oh, oh, oh mate. Like, the greatest movie of all time. That's so gonna... <laughs> good. So oh. good. That's going to be, yeah, that'll be Paw great. Patrol. Yeah. Is, that, Paw is that the hot show for oh. young? Yeah, days. yeah, yeah, it is. Paw and Patrol. they're obsessed with it. Really? They love it. It's shocking. Yeah. I was a huge Wiggles guy. Oh, yes. Wiggles yeah. Yeah. Search up best shows, early two th- best kids shows, early 2000s. Because I remember I, I was a big Disney guy. Well, I try and get him into all the old ones that I used to like. When I was kid. Oh, is that Blue's Clues? Like Blue's Clues. Yeah. That, was, that was the shit for a while, right? Yeah, I remember was, Blue's Clues. What was Clues. that? The, the Bear in the House? What was it called? Oh, bear in the big place. Rugrats. Rugrats is a good oh. Rugrats is good. SpongeBob is unreal. SpongeBob I thought is Rugrats sad. would be way, way too old for you guys. Oh, is that Pengu. still around? You know what was crazy? Pengu was a hit. Dude, not a single oh, word was said. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. God. <laughs> Amazing voiceover artist. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Imagine being you I'm the guy off Pengu. Yeah. Okay. I got so you're the guy going to work having a seizure every day and then going home to your kids. <laughs> oh my god. Sounds like he's like having a stroke half yeah. the time. <laughs> and like like five, they would have been like couple minute episodes, but they would have taken so long oh, to yeah. make. They would have taken the claymation. Yeah. Claymation is sick though. Yeah. Did like you guys that. ever remember Pingu. um it might have been way beyond you? Did you remember Mr. Squiggle? Mm-hmm. He would draw Mr. things with his nose. Mr. Type Squiggle. Mr. Squiggle. With his nose? 
yeah. for kids. So, it's so funny. Yeah. It's so, so funny weird. mentioning he something that's such... a pencil stuck to his nose, right? Such a big part of the eye. And he would draw things. <laughs> oh, he's so creepy. <laughs> he's that creepy. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so happy I didn't and watch And he would it. draw <laughs> things. <laughs> with the... <laughs> <laughs> what were you watching in your front? Yeah, you are such a fuck. Weird. Wouldn't um, he draw things upside down and you wouldn't know it until he turns them around? <laughs> Anyone watching oh Spotify God. right now has got no idea. Yeah, well, that's, that's it. Bro. You've got to watch it on YouTube. Watch it on YouTube. So, yeah, the super normal childhood. Yeah, yeah no, that looks really good. Mr. Squiggle. Oh, I wasn't right. black and white when I was watching it. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Makes it look even creepier. Oh, oh that's gold. Fuck. Oh. I, don't know, I was Drake and Josh. Oh, Drake and Josh. Drake and you say, Josh. What do you oh. say? Are you Drake and or are you Josh and? You're I've got beef You're with Drake right. and Josh. I don't even know who they are. But oh, really? I want to, my, I'm all for it. My yep. other business is Jack and Josh. Oh, <laughs> oh I have beef with uh, Kyle and Jackie O Show. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. I was like, what yeah, are we going to call this? Not Kyle guys. and Jack uh, yeah. radio yeah. show. Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll take you even... to court, mate. I know. Yeah. And yeah. I, they're not going to get much from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I try and like work on our, you know, Google SEO, yeah. Drake and Josh. I don't even know who the guys are, but I'm sick of seeing <laughs> their names. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so oh, bricks through some windows about yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. that. This isn't even in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> We've just gone on the biggest yeah. tangent. That's the best part. Yeah. Yeah. Stories are good as well. We like stories. We do. Like stories. <laughs> we actually don't have any stories on you guys. Yeah, we don't know we how don't to know ask. You. <laughs> 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 it's so hard to find stories on people you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'm like, I remember we got we got Ebony on. She has like this travel kind of Instagram. Oh, yeah. And I'm texting her friends looking so sus. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you got any funny stories about your friend? And they're like, uh, who, are who are you? you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, who I'm you? sorry, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. Not good. <laughs> mm, not good. Yeah, research is sometimes tough. That must be one of the hard bits about doing all this. It's like you need, need to look like you've like know them really well already. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. to. Uh, yeah. Nah, but yeah, we've had many, many... Uh, Trips and falls and mistakes made along the way. It happens. It happens all the time, and you know it puts that, me into that, those it. never stop. We can tell you that first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we recorded years. Being recorded in the creative a, field, oh. it just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's inevitable. Yeah, because we recorded a podcast probably last month. Yeah, we we weren't recording, and we did it for about two hours. Yeah, the mics weren't plugged. Mics weren't no. in properly. Yeah. The mix something happened with the mixer. Yeah, so all the audio was no good. Yeah, very oh. funny as well. We're and then what about happened after? Balls. Did you just go fuck? It, let's go again. No, no. you already well, left. You're already going home. You kind of can't, oh, can you? Because yeah. you can't really recreate that. And if you tell no. a story twice, it's like, do you hope yeah, that was like funny? And then yeah, what yeah. Do you yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. hits you up the next day and say, hey, when's the podcast dropping? Oh, yeah. yeah, thirty second yeah. on the thirty second. Have you guys had some like bad moments or anything like that? Or yeah, we've had a few. We've had a few. Oh, just production mishaps and those are the oh, worst ones. Like that, yeah. Those days when stuff like that happens, it's yeah. just like, oh man, like everything's you know fixable, but yeah. you know it's like how much is this going to set us back, and yeah. how long is it going to take us to recover from this? And like, mm. like, mm. What, like early days. It's good to have those moments early days because there's not a whole lot riding on it because mm. you know the whole operation isn't that big, but um. We've had like early days, we had a, a run come in. We had about a ton of teas get delivered and they're all like two sizes too small. <laughs> oh, you are kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and there's nothing you can do about that. Like like you start running all this stuff through your head. Like can we just like move the tags to, you know, like down the line? And then you're like, oh, well, then we're only going to have like small, mediums and larges and we won't have any extra larges and double extra larges. Yeah, and, and then- the smalls are like the smallest. Uh- <laughs> small smalls. Well, the, the, the hand. Puppets. Oh, sorry. I mean, like yeah. the size brackets would be horrible anyway because yeah, you don't exactly. order an even number across every size. You don't order five small, five medium, five large, etc. Well, what what's the most you get for like what's the size that gets the uh, most? L's and XL's are pretty even. Yeah. They're t- the two most popular. Yeah. Um, so like the L's would end up being a small set, end up having like 
a shitload of small, <laughs> and then you're not going to get rid of them anyway. And then you're ne- going to need L's, which you need double XL's, in which you don't have a whole lot of them anyway. So you'll get rid of a few double XL's. Mm. And it was a whole thing. And then they fleeced those guys as well. They fleeced us on um, the material. Like they, we had worked on a specific like That's right, yeah. fabric with a specific wash treatment for like certain hand feel. Mm-hmm. And like they said, what they sent us was just like absolute tissue paper. Yeah. <laughs> like, so Two like, ply, not even yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. It was really bad. So like, and then it's one of those things. That's the thing that sucks about working at that time. Like with offshore guys, it's like, how do you prove feel over an email? It's mm. like it feels really thin. They're like, it's the right T-shirt. I'm like, mm. I'm well, telling you it's not. <laughs> I'm like, this will tear if I put it on. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're like, we're feeling it. And it's perfect. We've got some of it over here. I'm like, you definitely don't. But yeah. I'm like, oh. yeah. it's one of those. So it's stuff a like- frustrating point because like even if you do come to an agreement with them and you get your money back, they still set you back because you don't have any T-shirts to sell. <laughs> yeah, true. So, you know, and I mean, nowadays it's a lot more critical because we've got budgets to hit and, you know, um, all of that needs to run smoothly in order mm. for us to be able to, you know, have budget for the next range. And, that, you know, it's all just like if something goes wrong, it just pushes everything back. You know? yeah. And, yeah. And, if, and, and then you've also got to worry about like key selling periods. So... If we ruin all of our hoods during our six weeks of like the coldest months of the year and you don't have any hoods to sell, that's going to set you back a long way, you know, and then like you might, it might take you 12 months to recover from yeah, something yeah. like that. So it's even if, even if like stuff arrives late, I was like the analogy I like liken it to is like we had a shipment ages ago, a while ago, we had a shipment of hoodies come like three months too late and the, the factory's like, are well, you still getting them? We're like, yeah, but that's like trying to sell ice cream in winter. Yeah. <laughs> no one, no one wants we need the hoodies. Bow, mate. Yeah. No one yeah. wants hoodies in uh, November or maybe a couple, but we missed the time, and yeah. it's like now yeah. we've got all this stock on hand that we can't move. Like we missed the perfect time to be selling these garments, and now we're trying to like back sell, back pedal hoodies, and we're wasting like we'd be wasting our internal resources too, mm. um, trying to do that. So. Yeah, it's like Brandy said, you really just have to get things on point and you need to have like backup plans for those. Like, okay, if this is going to go wrong, what can we push back? What can we move forward? What is ahead of like, what is ahead of schedule that we can like move things in front of and like maneuver within um, the drop calendar or uh, within like, you know, any campaign shoots that we have booked in already? So now it's just a lot more structured. Like if things go wrong, which they still always do, um, it's less of like a pull our hair out moment. It's like we know we kind of like can sit down as a team and we can go, okay, this isn't happening now because like at the moment there's been a lot of freight delays. It's like, okay, that's cool. Let's lean in our local guys to start putting some stuff through for us. So we've got more of like a contingency plan. Yeah. So... I've yeah. decided for us, we were thinking about doing TLP merch, local pickup merch. We're not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. All right. Noxie, we all agree. We're not doing it. <laughs> Do you remember those A, that AA brand? Then they did like print T-shirts on. Oh, AAA? Is it, is it AAA? It's AA, maybe. And like you or wash AS them. Color? You, maybe. And you wash it three times and it's like wearing like a oh, yeah, see-through be, T-shirt. Yeah. Be AS color. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The AS color blanks. Yeah. That's devastating. They were the worst. Mm. And that's all I can add to yeah. printing yeah. on T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing merch, just do something that doesn't have like a size curve. It's just like a one size fits all. Yeah. Like, just do some socks or a hat or something. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're thinking about doing stubby holders. Stubby holders can't good. lose. Give them away. Yeah. Coming yeah. into summer too, 100%. you're laughing. Yeah, that's actually smart. Yeah, uh, yeah. seasons. Uh, <laughs> so we would have, knowing our theory, we would have gone stubby holders in winter. Yeah, <laughs> so we would have ankle socks in winter. Like, why yeah. are they ankle selling? Socks in winter? <laughs> yeah, why can't I sell these why big thick beanies? Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? We can't figure it out. <laughs> selling beanies in Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any like exclusive merch that only you two or oh, your sure, team has? Surely there's something you've made. You're like, oh, this heaps. Is for us. yeah, because yeah. yeah. sampling yeah. stuff like we do, we make a lot of stuff and sample it, never goes to production. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we like <coughs> not as, as much now, uh, but like we would often, you know, maybe like 15% of a range doesn't actually get turned into anything. Like, mm-hmm. 
you start making things and either one of two things happens. Either they make the first sample and it's just way too far off. Mm. Like, you know, say for instance, you wanted to sell something in December and you had the final sample in like September mm. and you're like, we're only 50% of the way there. We don't have time for another sample plus production plus freight or whatever. Let's just skip this. It's not going to work. Even if it's a fire thing, we're like, we're too far off in sampling. We're it's not exactly going to get exactly what that. happened with our puffer. Like, yeah. We just made these puffer the jackets. Puffers, yeah. And we tried to do these last winter. Last winter. And we just couldn't get them right. And yeah. um, we just had to cancel. Yeah. We just benched it. We're like, yeah. put, uh, the, you know, we're just like, put it aside. Let's just come back to this. We're yeah. like, we don't want to stress ourselves out and we know it's just going to be a headache. And if we do, and then, you know, like we were saying, we don't want to, like the ice cream analogy, we don't want to be like, okay, we finally got them right. By the time we get it here, no one ever wants them anymore. Yeah. yeah. So that's one thing that happens. The other thing that happens is simply things just like we lose it, like the market loses interest in it and all we lose interest in it of like, you know, because uh, we're designing stuff 12 months ahead. So we're, Wrapped, we've wrapped up some already. We're working on um, uh, autumn for next year. There you go. And yeah, that's also tough. Yeah, so you trend yourself. set. Yeah, you're trying mm. to trend forecast. And it's like by the time it comes out, you've already seen it for a whole year. Oh, that's yeah. the exact same. And everyone's same. going, oh, this is sick. And you're, and you're like, like, oh, oh yeah, bro. That's the exact <laughs> right, same yeah. with us. Like, we've gone through the editing process and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even know if this is funny. Yeah. 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 Or if anyone's going to think this is funny. It's same kind of so thing. Stupid. You like keep, start questioning yourself. Like, yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah. Put it out? yeah. 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 Point. It happens really often with graphics. I remember a while ago we did the, the, like and this happened, happened way more than once. We've done graphics, and like I said, we're designing nine, 12 months out ahead, mm. and we'll have graphics set up, ready to go, ready to take the printers. The printing is the last stage that gets done. That only gets done like a month before the drop. So the graphics done, it's either sold into stores or like just put aside and ready to go. And then like a brand that like is in our market will release literally that same graphic, like mm. very close, yeah. like mm. can't drop it. It's going to mm. look like we just copied them even though we literally designed this nine, oh, 12 yeah, months true. ago. Yeah. So that happens. That's happened many times. Yeah. yeah. You just got to can it. So, just all can right. it. Yeah, it's just Design not worth it. It's just not worth a potential backlash. Yeah. Yeah, 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 true. So that happens, yeah. Is your orange beanie... You've had that for a long time, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was stalking his Instagram and I was 2013 oh my in the car. God, you know what? This you know is what? amazing. You guys are about to get a bomb dropped on you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually one of our beanies we just released. Oh, true. Uh, it's the same as meatballs. Yeah. He's this is this is modeled. Been there for about, that's about a week old. <laughs> this is about a week old, but it is modeled. The color. Oh, jeez. The color is modeled off. The beanie that I've been wearing for the last ten years of my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> one day was amazing. like, "Mate, you need a new beanie, man." Oh, like this, I was like, "You, like, you know, you work label. for a clothing label, mate. We yeah. can get these things." And I was like, "Well, let's <laughs> let's make one then. Come on, let's go." <laughs> did it so do the was, job? What's that? Did it do the job? Hundred yeah. percent. That's so, so funny, so because he actually came in the other day and it was like from a distance, and I was like. Don't tell me you're wearing that old beanie again. He goes, no, this is a new one. I'm like, thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is like my signature beanie now. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. <laughs> completely. <laughs> I couldn't That's believe so it. That's so funny that yeah. you said that. Yeah. When I saw the photo, I'm like, there's no way. 20 <laughs> <laughs> in the flesh. 2013. The, the orange beanie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you had to auction that thing off one yeah, day. Yeah, that I thing I got. Yeah, because I used that to. That time capsule, like to, yeah. for, your, for your grand grandkids. I got that from an op, <laughs> uh, that that particular beanie. I got from an op shop too. Oh, true. so it was like already old when I got it. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, that's seen some seedy old thing. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's amazing. So when you guys are designing new stuff, so obviously you want to be. Like you got your own brand, you got all this freedom and you can be as creative and out there as you want. How, where do you find the line of like putting something out there that's really like really sick? Because I'm a very, like I'll wear like black pants, maybe black tea, white tea. I'll rotate it. Every now and then, orange, <laughs> bold, <laughs> but like I won't go too far out there. Mm, yeah. And then you can see like, like then Noxy on the other hand, he might wear like a fluoro yellow vest or something like that yeah. how do you find the balance of like keeping your market and also pushing it mm. and creating something a bit more out there this is one thing we've got to rein in the boys a bit on and we've had to kind of really um 
kind of teach them when we're designing something, you've got to think of you've got to think of a wide spectrum of things. Like initially, when we usually when we start the design process, it's just like let's just design something sick that we want to we want to wear, um, and kind of just go you know no limits whatever, mm. and then it starts to like once once the design starts to develop then we start to talk about all right who's going to buy this which one of our customers is going to buy this is it going to be you know the general public or the guys like you know really fashion forward um and you try and find a balance between you know doing something that's like really sick but also just like wearable you know like because there's a balance because it's like you can wear the same black tee four weeks in a row. Yeah. No one can say anything. You wear one, yep. like, I don't know, pink jumper. Yeah. So I'm like, gee, you really like that pink jumper. Yeah. I've worn it twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've yeah. only worn it twice. It's yeah. exactly the discussion we have yeah. often, like, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. And a lot of the time we'll bring out, like, a wilder color, but for the second colorway, it'll be something that might be in, like, a black or a white or, like, a, a really wearable, easy, easy wear. Mm. So that's kind of how we balance it out. If we do have like a really like standout piece, mm. like um, for example, the the oil spill knit that we just released. You're sick. We were talking about that before you got here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that one's been going really hard. That's yeah. Yeah. That's been received really well. And it, it's funny because like a lot of the time it is the, the, the really easy wear color that sells. But on the odd occasion, the out there crazy bright color will just go nuts. If you and can nail it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've just got to be able to nail it. And... And it's, you know, the the perfect garment is like something that guys, girls can both wear and yeah. then like any age, like it just like hits a lot of different markets mm-hmm. and um, and that one seemed to hit the mark there. And and like the, the crazy colors just like totally outsold the like um, brown, which is like what we considered like an easy wear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's like, you know one instance but most of the time it's the easy wear that usually kind of outsells yeah it'd yeah. also be super tough for like the mornington peninsula market like there we talk about it all the time peninsula is a very there's a square yeah everyone's in that square <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no one goes outside that square you got to yeah. the square yeah, right? yeah. If, you, yeah. if you go yeah. outside the square you get it's like what are you doing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 like someone someone will be like oh you're doing a podcast that's really it. we are just recording talking to people yeah, like, yeah. we're not doing anything evolutionary or anything <laughs> we are just talking having beers with mm. people we like or yeah. are interested in yeah. yeah yeah and then that's like gee that's a bit weird are you seriously <laughs> doing that yeah. if you're not walking the dog while getting a coffee yeah i was gonna it. say yeah. Those yeah. North, yeah. North black puffer jackets. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. well that's a good example as well like the camo and then we did a black you know mm. like you know yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. um yeah we try to yeah, use like yeah we try to like use a, a color way to, to capture but it becomes more like Oh, that's like, you know, if you see an, like an ad or something, you, you're kind of like, oh, that's wild, but I can't pull that off. I'll just get the black. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always see, about I can't having. I pull off big stuff. I look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm being serious. Noxie, Kyle, they're all like, what are you doing? Like, if I, if I don't wear vans, I just get berated. <laughs> Seriously. I'm wearing vans right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, yeah. No, some people, fair. like, Noxie can wear whatever he wants. And he looks normal. Yeah. No one, no one bad an eye. Yeah. He's, just, yeah. he's a fashionable guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 100%. Mm. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it's just, it is just a, a balancing act. And especially like now, like we develop, like we break our range in and have like what we call like a, a core range, which is um, like our logo stuff that can be like... Um, worn with everything it's in like nice conservative colorways which is kind of like it's good for everyone even us like we still wear like a lot of the clean basic stuff too because um it just goes with everything and mm. it's like easy to wear mm. and then i think most people even like the like the freshest guys their wardrobes are going to contain mainly a lot of clean garments with like some occasional like pretty wild stuff so mm, yeah. i think as we build ranges out we kind of like just keep that in mind because as much as you would love to just do like, if you didn't have to worry about actual sell throughs or anything, you would just have the most insane oh, yeah. looking ranges and yeah. it would be so sick. Yeah. yeah. And so that's, that's kind of like what I was saying about the boys before. Like, you really got to rein them in because, like, 
they're not thinking about the the, the business side of things. Whereas yeah. they're just like, oh, this would be so sick. I'm like, yeah, we can't sell like. 50 orange like yeah, we can't sell know. a fish net <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it's not gonna happen um and then oh yeah okay you know yeah. so like yeah you've got to be realistic about some things even though like like they do look fresh but like yeah, yeah we've got to like we had because we drop things so often too we're dropping stuff like every week or every second week like mm. we can't have a backlog of stuff because of bottlenecks so we need to be moving through stuff quickly bottlenecks yeah, yeah. bottlenecks Mm. Now mean? I think of it, I reckon the bottleneck first... like um, it clogs up. Like if like you've got, jam. if you oh, have like, oh, yeah, yeah, if you have, if you have like a, a four or five drops in a row that only you know maybe they only sell through like twenty percent or something like that, then all of a sudden the warehouse is packing up full of shit because we've got stuff coming in all the time. Mm. So we need stuff to be going out the other side as well. So yeah, it's kind of like a yeah, it's just got to be a conveyor belt in there. Otherwise, <laughs> like. We yeah. just have done enough space. Yeah. Uh, I reckon the first photo we took for TLP, I was wearing a snake hole hat and t-shirt. Really? Oh, fresh. He life. wears them all the time. I wear it all the time. I actually can't wear it anymore because everyone's like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we should have got Mickey you a hat. Mouse oh, we should have uh, got you Mi- a hat. Mickey yeah. Mouse tea. Was it the Mickey oh, Mouse one? The oh, Ricky, oh, I thought that was the Ricky, Ricky Rat, Rat tea. Tea. So we didn't yeah. get sued. Don't say Mickey Mouse because yeah. you get sued. Yeah, <laughs> Ricky, it's, Ricky, it's Ricky Rat and it's <laughs> Ricky Rat. not like <laughs> anything that we've ever seen before. And anything that is alike is pure coincidence. There you go. And that black hat. Just for the record. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny. One of our mates calls us up when we were like, I drew that. And then when we he rele- uh, we released it, he goes, do you know you're going to get fucking sued by Disney? And I, we were like, I hope that happens because Great if publicity. I get yeah. that publicity, <laughs> I will actually make a t- like we'll make end up getting like a cease to desist letter. That's becoming a t shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the snake will leave Disney alone. Yeah. Basically, it'll become a t shirt. So good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, that was a good. Uh, yeah, the Ricky Rat. <laughs> Ricky and you rat. have a hat as well. Yeah, that you used to I was always wearing it today, wear actually. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, like I can't wear it. And it's just got like a square here. on it. I don't even know. Oh, the yeah. um, flat cap kind of one. Yeah. It was the, co- the Cobra Grid logo one. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. That, yeah. My hat is it's yeah. actually red I've still now got one of those, I think. Sun, it's red. Yeah, from the sun <laughs> and been wearing it that much. Yeah. We've had a few guys come in over the years and like they come in and their hat's just like sunburnt. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, it compare it to the new one. Better than your just, head. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. True. At least it's taken all the brunt. I reckon I've seen eight, so many people in the area wearing that, the orange hat. Like it was like a oh, nice short dry fit one. one, except the bill barely get like I couldn't wear it because it wouldn't cover my nose and <laughs> so I get sunburned and it's bad. But I've seen yeah. so many of them in the oh, area. Oh, that'd be the Finn loves that hot hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those went crazy. Like yeah. ha- headwear's never been something that moves for us quickly. It's one of those things where it like just kind of drips through, moved, drips yeah. through over time. But those sold through in like a couple of days. Like couldn't believe it. Mm. Like they just yeah, wouldn't so stop good. moving. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That I, was sick. I saw the socks before. I didn't know you guys did socks. Yeah. Socks yeah. are great. We, yeah. we so that's did. what I was expecting when you come in. What's your size? Size 11? So you can get my socks. <laughs> yeah. so when you guys said hoodie. that, I'm like, oh, they're going to get us something. I feel so bad. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was going to get that with nothing, man. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like, we're going to get another slab. They'll let them know your next move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were going to get one slab, and then when you sent that message, I'll be like, we'll go get slabs. Slab. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's well, I would have felt bad if I rolled up and you had a slab for me and I was empty handed. I always say, like, someone asks, like, what do you guys make? I always just say, everything. That's not shoes and underwear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Mind yeah, some hundies, though. So, yeah. yeah, snow hundies. Yeah. I'd love to do snow, snow yeah. hundies. A foot That's good. Doing you sh- can use that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Sell out. It would be years. a pretty yeah. uh, appropriate name. <laughs> yeah, I. The one thing I would love to do is like that'd be like for me like everything would be doing some kind of footwear collab with someone, whether mm. it was like oh. who was like. New Balance or if it was Nike or whoever, I'd love to do like yeah. our own shoe one day. That mm. would be like a massive moment for me. Yeah. That's one of the really cool. biggest oh, the things. snake on the tongue. Oh, that snake would be on so the tongue. Sick. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah. yeah, that would be so sick. And something on the inside like the um, inner sole or on the actual bottom of the shoe, that would yeah. be fire. Just yeah, walking on the sand. Yeah. The snake. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Wow, you know what it is, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do marketing at uni. <laughs> he actually does. <laughs> he actually does. Picture right. this. Walking yeah, on the yeah, beach. Picture this. <laughs> All right, stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> 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 
Do you want to hit them with this? Yeah, we have a we have a segment on you guys with Never heard of us before about two weeks ago, but it's called Quick Fire Questions. So we ask you quick questions and you got to, we fire them away and you got to answer them really quickly. That's do we why it's take turns? Questions. You'll take turns. You can take turns. Oh. You can do whatever. Yeah. You so go first. I can't Brody. actually read that from here. Okay. Brutal. So well, you ready? Yeah. All right. I'll go first. So would you rather eat raw baked beans <gasps> for breakfast every day or put stickers on apples for a living? <laughs> 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 Stickers on apples for sure. For a living, or oh, for a living? Yeah, you Ooh. can't snow anymore. Oh yeah, that throws a bit of a spanner in the works. I get a hundred percent equity of the business. Yeah. You can go and fucking make <laughs> raw, raw, ba- raw, raw, raw baked beans or raw bacon. Raw baked baked beans, beans, like not cooked out, out of the, the can, can. Yeah. with a spoon. Can. Some both some very bad with a options. cold spoon as well. <laughs> Well, you've only got what two. What kind of life are you living, mate? <laughs> this isn't mine. This is yours. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm going to take the back beans yeah. then. It, means I, it would mean I wouldn't be able to... You guys are going to rock up to anyone. work every morning so angry because yeah. I've just had a can of baked beans. I'll be so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, You'd not, be flat as I'm, every yeah, morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you'd be farting every two minutes. Oh, oh that's 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 well, he's stink. got no sense of smell. I, got no so sense. I was care. born without a sense of smell, so that wouldn't bother me. That's me. He's the best stink, guy so. to share a studio <laughs> with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Kyle hates me. <laughs> All, right, you go. All right, what's the time? Maybe head a little bit. <laughs> Why was this a quick fire question? Yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm, I'm just, just being quick. <laughs> All right, you got an answer as well? Or are you just going to go with that? Oh, okay. yeah, baked bands are not even close. That's yeah, easy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you were to start your own clothing label, what would it be called? A new one. Oh, you know. Um, uh, the Lizard Pit. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some copyright issues that might come along with that. I've always thought it'd be cool to start a label just called Champagne. Champagne? I like that. Yeah. Don't mind that. Yeah. I like that I want to get, a, I wanna get yeah. a pub called Pub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peninsula United Breweries. Yeah, that's <laughs> not oh, bad, oh, is it? <laughs> there's something in it. That, <laughs> that place on the Mount Martha... The White House, Mount Martha Community House. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that doing? It'd make a good pub. It'd make oh, an unbelievable pub. Oh, my God, pub. it would, wouldn't yeah. it? It's used for karate That's lessons. That's you can't take mm. it. Like, yeah, I used to do drawing lessons there. Did you? Yeah. There you That's go. That's I got my big break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, what's your favourite flavour? Of what? <laughs> what's the <laughs> question? I love that there's always a question for the question. Um, I'm a huge um, uh, peppermint spearmint. Anything in dessert got person. Oh, eclipse. Very controversial. Mm. Right. Okay. I've got a mad addiction for caramel at yeah. the moment. Oh, yeah. Understood. Yeah. So good. Yeah, good understood. Stuff. Okay. Why is abbrevi- abbreviated such a long word? <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking to an, an artist designer. <laughs> they need to abbreviate <laughs> it. I don't even know how to spell that word. How do you, <laughs> how do you abbreviate, how do you abbreviate, abbreviate it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you put it in a sentence. <laughs> Uh, why is the third wa- third hand on the watch called the second hand? Dude, <laughs> you're blowing my mind. <laughs> this is so far beyond me. <laughs> okay, well, you're going to love this then. What's another word for th- for thesaurus? Well, these are some a- angry questions. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, think of one. Can we all- that up? Is the sor- is it? Yeah, Nox, oh, give I'm it a go. Such an idiot if I say this number. No, is the thorus the same as like? No, as- don't say it. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> is that like what you use for like? Is that like synonyms? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Gee, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, is that like a dictionary? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, 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 actually tr- I actually tried to save you there. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate I've just pulled the pin and thrown it. I'm like, oh, yeah. he's gonna jump he knows how many like <laughs> post products and stuff that I've published on our site and everything like that that have like, it is riddled with spelling mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh. And he's like, that's why he was like trying to save me just there. <laughs> <laughs> like, mate, if there's anything you want to post, just send it through me first. What was one on the, on the, um, uh, like all the styles, they have colors, like, uh, and usually then, like, with these um, uh, oil spill nits that came out, there was like burnt orange and there was um, iris blue. Like, they always have like uh, just like color titles. And the green was always like forest green, which is not unique to us. A lot of people call it that. And I kept <laughs> always writing it F O double R on everything. <laughs> And every single time you'd have to get like, dude, 
one R. <laughs> and then the boys started <laughs> writing it. Billy Madison, you won that spelling. You remember when you came second in that spelling contest one year? Rock. He's like, R-O-K. And he's like, oh yeah, the C is silent. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then like, maybe I was just like writing it with a double R. And then the boys, like Sammy started writing with a double R as well. I was like, no. no Influence. <laughs> Leadership right there. Yeah. Oh, These things funny. happen. So what's one piece of advice for people starting their own company, such as Noxie? <laughs> <laughs> With this new forest well, green, green hoodie, by forest the way. Yeah. Smashing yeah. out 50 hoodies in a night, I reckon he should give us some advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what are we doing wrong? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, I would just say it's like... With fa- with fashion, running a fashion label, it's very romantic on the outside. Like everyone thinks like, oh, you get to run a label and be creative and, and stuff like that. And um, it's really more than anything, it's like just being consistent and turning up and actually like treating it like a job. So if it, whether you just do it on the side and you work full time and like you only have a couple hours a week, those couple hours a week that you do have on it, 100% treat it like it's make or break and really focus and like don't take it lightly that's like the only advice i would have is like and be consistent like Mm. force yourself for a long time like um i'd always um uh uh toggle which is like an app the amount of hours i spent on the label yeah so i keep myself accountable for doing a certain amount of hours every week no matter what and um just that can like that if that having that kind of consistency i think is really important mm. it's been like i owe yeah, that like yeah. you do every you know you do certain things a week like you go surfing or you go to the gym or whatever like that those are things like just like when we had the label and especially when we started i'm like okay every week like i owe this many hours to this yeah so that would be something like my per- personal personal piece of advice yeah, I I reckon you sum that up pretty well. <laughs> it's it's a, it is a grind, and it's it it's not something that's going to happen overnight. So you just got to show. Not, up. Which is like, don't be discouraged when yeah. it doesn't. And yeah. if you have a drop that doesn't do well, if you have multiple drops in a row that don't do well, like we've been there, we've done, we've yeah. gone through that heaps of times where it's like it still happens. Like yeah. you know, it's like it you can't be discouraged by the little you know the little fails yeah. um, because. As long as you show up every day and you, you know, get one step ahead, it'll just, it'll, it'll keep growing. So, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. That's a great answer. All right. Do you want to finish this off, Hannah? If you could nominate someone to come on the podcast, who would it be? Could be anyone. Anyone. Could be a mate. Could be, I don't know. Wow. That's that's a a great question. We don't have to know them. Like, yeah. Okay. We probably won't. (laughs) I'm trying to rack my brain now. Man, who would be really good? <laughs> this is a, that's <laughs> a really stuck. hard question because it's such a good one. Yeah, the power of editing is great here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. Okay, so we got some time to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I reckon. I tell you what would be a good one. One of um, Tommy's mates. Um, Oh. Like one of the boys to- in the in the studio, Tommy. He's got a bunch of mates who are like these TikTokers, comedian guys who are like um, hilarious. And they've got like, like really big followings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This one guy, Blake. Uh, I think he's Blake, would be Blake Pavey. Epic. Yeah. He's I've like, heard of that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's really funny, yeah. And um, he's been doing a lot of stand up lately yeah. as well. Yeah. And yeah, I great reckon, suggestion. I reckon he'd be good. <laughs> great he would be great suggestion. Epic. Yeah, yeah, that would be a really good get. Yeah. Right, I'll go I'll go completely uh, A list then. You guys need to get Denzel Washington on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the greatest actor of all time, the he's goat good. of the best movies of all time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get Denzel in here. That'd be sweet. Yeah, we've mess we've messaged uh, Bradley Pitts and he hasn't got back to us. Bradley Pitts. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're waiting for you. See the guy from Limitless. <laughs> <laughs> Gags all around. <laughs> oh, they're flying out. Um, <laughs> no, nah, it's been great getting you guys on. Yeah, um, we been a pleasure you. being here. Yeah, yeah it's been, been all right. It's been fun, mate. It's been great. I can't believe the catering. I'm blown away yeah. by it. I know yeah. some sausage rolls some next to me. Sausage rolls pies. and pies ready to go. Yeah. Mum snuck in. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Thanks for, you know, sparing some time for us. Mm. Absolutely. So coming oh. on, we really appreciate it. We loved, we loved chatting to you today, having a couple of beers, having a laugh. 
talking some business, you know. Yeah. Talking business. Inflation and whatnot. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it was really great. And thanks, boys, for coming on. And Appreciate just want to also say, like, as guys who started something at the time, like, unique on the peninsula, mm. what you guys are doing, I think you guys are heading really down the right path. It's like, oh, no. yeah. 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 Really cool yeah. to yeah. see. Really yeah. sick to see, it's like, inspiring. people being creative and, like, yeah. doing, and especially coming and seeing, like, what you guys have like you guys have clearly committed to this yeah. so it feels like <laughs> yes very similar to like <laughs> yeah, what we how we like you guys tr- treat it straight away you're like it's dead serious yeah. even though you guys are like taking the piss most of the time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's awesome so yeah. well done to you guys too yeah, good this on is you. epic thanks gents yeah. yes thank you and you can go check out their youtube account we'll put that in the show notes oh, as yes, well yes we can Link get like and the new clothes the new clothes there's a drop yeah, every three days <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go the orange out. beanies get around those. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brown snake special. The brown snake yeah, beanie. Of course. <laughs> yeah. nah, thanks nah, for listening, thanks everyone. Boys, appreciate Hell it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers. fellas. There we go. Boys. Are you guys Seinfeld? Nah. He's a massive. Oh, yeah. I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen about half the episodes. Oh, mate. I've seen it <laughs> probably. Exactly. Yeah. How many seasons is there? Nine seasons. Nine, like? Yeah. I've seen all nine probably five, six times over. <laughs> Same, I reckon. <laughs> so good. It's amazing. I fall asleep to it. Yeah, yeah. I put the laptop on sideways, fall asleep. Mate, my kids grew up to, like, when, when they were babies, just like. Grew up to Seinfeld or The Office in the background oh, because it was like white noise while they were sleeping. Yeah. And we just watched that much Seinfeld. Yeah. Oh. And then you finish like all nine seasons, you're like, oh, well, I might as well start again. Start again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've got a shocking memory, so I just forget what I what I watched in the first season all, oh. all over again. So your kids are walking around like their first like sentence was like, what's the deal with the camera? So like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that'd be so bad. 100%. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Kyle with some early gags. Yeah, yeah, look at him. Yeah. What's going on? He's mate? just warming up. <laughs> <laughs> the man doesn't stop. <laughs>